We've been thinking about making some kind of bike rack to go in the back of the Jeep to help the bikes be a little bit more secure when we travel. We've been having problems with them kind of sliding around on the bottom and then um, either rubbing up against the side of the Jeep or the window or something like that. So um, we've just been talking about different ideas for how to do that and uh, we think we might have an idea. We're gonna give a try today. So I've drawn up a very simple plan here and take some measurements and then we made a little shopping list at the top. So hopefully um, this is gonna work for us and we don't end up just wasting a bunch of time and money. Seems like we're always going in here. Yeah. <laughs> like every day we're here getting something. All right, so all the stuff. I think this is going to be sturdy enough for one inch PVC. Now we're just looking for all the fittings we need to get it together. Once you get this together, you're not going to take it apart, I don't think. Okay, well, we won't take it apart. Okay, and then I need six caps, so like these they work, one, two, three, go again going back to get the stuff that we need because I miscalculated on stuff <laughs> but, oh well all right I think we got everything this time I hope I've counted and recounted so hopefully we're not making a third trip to Lowe's <laughs> but you know we'll probably be back here anyway all right, take two on making the bike rack now that we went back and got more parts. Did we have everything? I hope so. So this is what we started already. Let's see how it goes. And these are the six inches ones here. Here? Yep. Okay, where does it go? They go out the side. Perfect. It's okay. All right. Now you need an 18 inch one coming out this side. Yes, and try and get them as straight as you can. <laughs> Called it. We're going back to Lowe's another time. 
Okay, so after several weeks of trying and probably several hundred dollars spent on materials, we finally came up with something really simple that works really great for our bikes. And you can kind of see it behind me. It's just some uh, two by sixes with some brackets that are used for holding fence posts together. Um, and the bikes, the bike wheels fit right in there perfectly and we're going to demonstrate actually how we load the bikes into our jeep and it's crazy how simple and cheap this ended up being after all that work we put in but um it works for us so yay and if you have a jeep you could do this too so first of all we fold the handlebars down on the bikes and we take the seats out of the seat posts so that the bike isn't too tall to fit inside the jeep we lift them up in and I'm actually going to go ahead and lift one of them up in so that you can see that um, an average strength person is okay managing these bikes you don't have to be a muscle man people are kind of afraid of how heavy they are but um, they're actually pretty manageable just fits in this bracket up here and the back wheel has one as well they're actually just two L brackets that are um, bolted down next to each other and they fit the wheel just perfectly but that's what it looks like we have them angled slightly so that they fit lengthwise and then we go ahead and strap them in up here and you want to show how we do that These are just some really short um, straps that we purchased on Amazon. So we just strap the bar back here to the roll bar of the Jeep. And look how solid that is and they just say, stay nice and firm like that while we're driving. Okay, now we're going to show Bobby lifting his bike up and in. to go forward a little bit and we can adjust that as we need to and then we use these little microfiber rags to pad things where they might rub, rub it. or whatnot we've got a spot there we have a spot up here that occasionally will 
be too close. And so we stick one up in there. And then uh, we'll put one on the front of the tire to keep it from getting the seat dirty. And then we have a little spot here where the, the handlebar folds down and it occasionally will rub against that. So I'll just stick a little cloth down in there as well. There's our bikes all put in place, ready to go. And that's about the angle that they sit at. And then we have lots of room between them. And then over on the far side of my bike by the door to put bags, luggage, gear, whatever we're taking with us. How well the bikes ride in the Jeep. They don't move around at all and we've got room in the middle for our basket of gear. It works just great like that.